I've just come in from working on some new products, but thought I'd come and have a chat to you about something that's really important to me and to you as well, that's health and safety. Now, I want you to get good results, let's say solid solutions with whatever you're doing. So I'd like to go right through the, the, the essentials. Now, with our products, we do cover this subject really well. We've got very concise uh, health and safety directions here. And take the time to read them. You'll be surprised at the uh, extensive guidance in there. And I'm going to go through the nuts and bolts of it here today. Now, whatever the product, you might be working with epoxy resins, polyurethane systems, or silicon rubbers, it's always important and a good thing to protect your skin. We recommend that you get a, a good barrier cream and I suggest, particularly with epoxy resins, rub it around the wrist area because sometimes you can get a little bit of a dermatitis reaction. It's rather rare, but it can, can occur. It's just a nuisance factor. Do that first, then pop on your gloves, disposable gloves, and be, be liberal with using them. Don't keep them on there. Make it a good workshop practice to not have stickiness around the place. Um, oh, we've got a, always, we're always saying put a cover down, have something for your sticky little items so that you're not spreading the, the chemicals around because it's um, they're safe to work with but it's best not to get them on your clothing or on your, on your person. Goes without saying, good wrap around glasses. Now it, I wear glasses but I find that these work straight over the top and they do give you further protection and you can of course see what you're doing. So that's the basics for your uh, starting points except these are optional. If you're working with a dust, we have recommended a, a nuisance dust mask. This sometimes gets confused though as a chemical protector. It's not. It's just for dust. You really need a canister job uh, when you're working, particularly with polyurethanes and some of the hardness for epoxy resins. And your, your hardware store will give you the right advice on which one to use. And finally, you've got through all of that and it gets to the clean-up stage. Methylated spirits is a good uh, material that really isn't going to dry out the skin too much and you can refeed your skin again with the uh, hand cream. But if you've got a more stubborn material that's harder to get off, like silicon rubber and so on, you want to look for something, for something like a uh, general purpose uh, hydrocarbon solvent cleaner that will cut right in and get that material off and then you get back to good workshop practice. If you take these points on board, you'll have plain sailing with, and with all your products. So, that's it for the moment. I've got to get back to that work I was doing. Catch you again.